Jamaica's thrust for success in public-private partnerships has taken root in education with the first school completed under the initiative. The Union Gardens Infant School in Delacree Park, St. Andrew, was executed under the Poverty Reduction Program and the Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JASIF, at a cost of $3,789,000. The scope of the works include the construction of classrooms, a library auditorium, and landscaping. The school was officially opened on Wednesday and was will benefit approximately 150 students aged three to six years in the Delacree Park community. Given remarks at the opening ceremony, Education Minister Ronald Thwaites notes that the government has been redirecting financial resources within the Ministry of Education towards improving the early childhood sector. When we, the administration of the Prime Minister, came to office, we were spending 3% of the education budget on early childhood education. And that included special education because a number of our children have special needs. It's not enough, Honorable Glenn, yet, but we are now up to 14% of the budget. And I know that if the Prime Minister has her way, we will raise it to 20% very shortly. Education is the winner of this administration. Not because of any particular political character, but because there has been an emphasis within existing resources and supported by people of all different types, viewpoints, etc., that we are going nowhere as a country unless we are able to posit ourselves as a knowledge and training economy and present ourselves to ourselves, take the selfie that we so often despise, and also present to the rest of the world that we are an effective investment opportunity because of the quality and character of our workforce, of our people. That's what today is signaling in a most important aspect. Minister Thwaites challenged the private sector to embark on more partnerships with the public sector for the development of the early childhood sector. Today I challenge the private sector and the public sector to confirm our dedication to and appreciation of the importance of a good early childhood experience. Later this month, the Edward Siago Foundation will be releasing a study spearheaded by Mrs. Joan Spence Hernandez, which compares a cohort of students who got the best early childhood experience versus one that had an in-depth an indifferent experience and the results are conclusive the more that and the better that we do at this level between age 3 and age 8 is the conclusive expectation gives the conclusive expectation that those children are going to go well ahead in school and in their other pursuits Meanwhile, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller adds that education contributes more than just knowledge to the country's economy. Not only is education important in reducing poverty, it is also a key to wealth creation. My government is committed to creating the macroeconomic environment in which our people are empowered to create wealth for themselves and for their families. 